my name is Sanjay Kumar. I am with the engineering department. I was always fascinated by flying objects like airplanes and things like that and that's what pushed me to take aerospace engineering in the first place. For my postdoctoral work I was at Los Alamos National Laboratory for almost two and a half years and after that I did apply for uh, faculty positions. Most attractive thing about this place was that the place where I was applying was a new department because then I could do whatever the way I want to do it and shape the department. Fluid mechanics is a study of fluid flow and when I say fluid flow it could be flow of water or flow of air around an object. For flying airplanes, space shuttles entering the atmosphere, submarines into the ocean, boats, design of ships, you name it and fluid mechanics applications are there. The studies that we can do on wind tunnel is to put objects inside the wind tunnel and study what is the effect of air on the object. So this is a model of a car. For example, you can measure pressure around the car and because that pressure around the car is going to tell you how much force the air is going to apply on the car. In order to change the pressure on the car, you might want to design the car or shape of the car in a new way. If you look at design of airplanes, new and new sophisticated airplanes are coming. Why does one airplane can go much faster than the other one? So all the reasons for change of shape is fluid mechanics. It's all governed by principles of fluid mechanics. We also have a water tunnel. So the idea is the same. In the water channel, you can generate flowing water at a constant speed. My students have been very actively using that water channel and doing a lot of experiments on that. What we are doing right now is studying how, for example, if, if you put a cylinder and you put it in water, how is the flow behind the cylinder changed when you do apply various kinds of motions to the cylinder. It has a lot of applications because it can be used to modify the behavior of the flow behind the cylinder. And that area technically has a name, it's called flow control in, for example, submarines. When submarines go in water, they leave a similar kind of complex behavior behind as just like in behind a single cylinder. So if you can control the behavior behind a submarine, then that can be used to protect yourself from the enemies. One experiment that we did, it was about two spinning cylinders. So if you take two cylinders and you spin them, and the flow is going past them. So we were trying to study the flow behind the, these two spinning cylinders. When we were spinning them at different rates, so we had a couple of those moments where we saw a dramatic change in the flow pattern. And at that point, I was very excited. We recently also built a shock tube where we can generate blast waves. It has potentially a lot of applications. And most of the applications are from uh, the side where you s experience some kind of an, a shock or an explosion, for example. This facility has been designed as part of our one senior design project. It was all done by student, which is very remarkable actually, designing a shock tube. I consider it as a big, big achievement for the students. I'm very proud of my students. I mean, they, they, are, they have done incredible work. I'm doing which I always wanted to do.